Hey, I hope you're having a good day. My name is Seamus Evans, keynote speaker, ambassador for Tourette Syndrome Association Australia. In this video, I want to talk about burnouts, how to get out of the slump. Yesterday, I was exhausted. I've come to the realization, I think I'm burnt out. I'm absolutely cooked, I'm fried like an egg. Sizzling, I'm not poached or scrambled. <laughs> I was in such a bad mood. I felt so frustrated. I'm the kind of guy who is always positive, always has a smile on his face. And when I don't, I start to spiral and get frustrated and angry. And I'm like, why am I in a bad mood? And I hate it and I want to get out of it. I kept trying to force myself to get out of this bad mood that I couldn't get out of. And it was really annoying. And I was getting angry at myself. And I have a habit of Poor negative self-talk. So my, my brain naturally will start speaking negatively about myself. It'll put myself down. Seamus, you suck. You're annoying. You're not funny. Your YouTube video sucks. Whatever it is, my brain can be my best friend and my worst enemy. So yesterday, as I was in this bad mood, my brain started bullying me. Now, I'm a keynote speaker. I speak on resilience. I speak on confidence. I speak on having a good attitude. And so I sat there going, hang on. I really need to be able to practice what I preach. If I'm speaking on large conference stages to say, hey guys, life is great, just have a positive attitude. I really needed to put my own techniques into practice to get out of the slump. So here's what I did. The first thing was I stopped work. I closed my laptop and I walked away. If you approach your work with a poor attitude or a bad mood, you are not going to get the best results and I went for a really big walk. The second thing was ask myself, why? Why do I feel like this? Why do I feel burnt out? Why do I feel like a lack of energy? Why am I in a bad mood? And I had to go back, retrace my steps over the last few weeks. What is it? Am I overworked? Am I underworked? Am I feeling frustrated? Do I not feel rewarded? What is it that's causing this bad mood? It's like when your car breaks down, you've got to open up the bonnet to see what's inside and to see what engine's doing. I am not a mechanic. I'm the worst typical male ever. If I ever open up a bonnet, it's to pretend I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I once called like the mobile mechanic dudes and said, trust me mate, it's the starter engine, mate. Yeah, it's the starter engine. And he goes, yeah, it's the battery. Ooh. Hence why I'm a YouTuber and I'm not a mechanic. But that's the way I have to look at my brain. If something's not right, I've got to open it up and see what's inside. And the way I did that was journaling. Now, I'm a big gratitude journaler. I love gratitude journals. I think they're so beneficial. I'm also a big lover of messages to your inner child. My brain likes to play tricks on myself, put myself down. Seamus, you suck. Seamus, you're not good enough. Seamus, you don't deserve success. So I have to literally write down, Seamus, you are enough. You are funny. You do deserve success. Seamus, you are loved. I have to write that stuff down to combat my natural negative self-talk. It's like if you're running away from a dog that's chasing you and you think this thing is a big, giant, bull, massive, but then you turn around and you realize it's just a little chihuahua. You realize you're running away from something that isn't that big of a problem. It's like at school if you were being bullied and you turn around and you face your bully and say, back off that confidence you feel, that empowerment that runs through your veins. That is the same reaction I get when I combat my negative self-talk with messages to my inner child. Seamus, you are good enough. Seamus, you do deserve this. Seamus, you are funny. I know it sounds weird, but I have to do it because it's confronting the negative self-talk and it's standing up to the bully. How good is that feeling when you stand up to the man? Everyone, when they quit their job, they want to walk out, kick the chair, be like, I'm out of here, you suck. That's what I was doing to my own brain. It's confidence building. And three, I had to actually accept the fact that life is ebbs and flows. Life goes up and down. It's a roller coaster. Up, down, sideways, all the way up, fast downs, stop suddenly. Like, life never just goes all the way up. How boring would that be? Imagine being stuck on a shopping center escalator. That would be so annoying. 
Life is ebbs and flows, and I had to accept that. I had to accept, hey Seamus, maybe today's just a bad day, and that's okay. I actually looked into this. The average human lives for 27,375 days. So you know what? It's okay to take one day. If you're in a bad mood, you're not having a good day, just take it off. Relax, clear your mind. Stop the work and ask yourself why you're in this mood. Journal, open up the bonnet and see what's inside and accept the fact that that's a part of life. And now I'm not fully back. I still feel a little bit burnt out, but I'm in a much better mood. I didn't respond to any emails today. I closed my laptop. I just left it. I walked for about eight kilometers. I listened to a podcast. I called some friends. I did some chin-ups at a park bar. I shaved, had a shower, and I just cleared my mind. The way I look at life is like a stolen car. If you steal a car, you're gonna drive that thing as hard and as fast as you possibly can. You're doing burnouts, you're doing 360s, fish tails, you're racing friends. But remember, you need to stop off at a service station and refill it with fuel. Otherwise, your joy ride's over. If you like this video, like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, have a good day. <laughs> I don't mean that. Like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content, and leave a comment. How have you gotten out of a slump? I'd love to hear your techniques. Have a great day!